Hi, it's a Malaysian girl Jean doing another Malaysian food. This time we're gonna do Im Kok Kai Salt Bag Chicken. This dish is very, very famous in Ipoh, okay? They make the best one. Well, since you know MCO is happening, let's do it at home and it's so simple. Just need some patience, okay? Now, the best chicken to use for this dish is Ayam Kampong, okay? Now, what you're seeing here, the Ayam Kampong is already washed clean, clean, leal, but we have to make sure that it's super dry, okay? Use all the kitchen towels you have and then make it dry, kau kau, okay? Pet here, pet there, pet everywhere. And then use three tablespoons of salt and rub on the chicken. Give it a good massage. Massage here, massage there, massage everywhere. Give it a good rub, okay? Now get a rack like this, which has a little bit of height, so that you can put the chicken on top of the rack and then for it to drip down the excessive water put in the fridge for two hours okay we're gonna marinate for two hours huh? why put in the fridge leh? because we want to maintain the freshness of the chicken and now after two hours you can see the water dripped up from the chicken is this much even though we have already dried it earlier now give the chicken a rinse again and then dry it Cow, cow again using kitchen towel some people will hang it to dry but ain't nobody got time for that now take out parchment paper or baking paper about one and a half meter or two meter because mine the leba is not leba enough so i flip it over and make it leba like that lah okay a key ingredient or tang kui or in scientific name angelica sinensis by the way, no one calls that nah. If you go to the Chinese herbs shop to buy it, just say tong kui or tang kui. It's actually a very heaty herb. So for this side, the bottom side, you just use two or three pieces. Just place it in the middle of the parchment paper and scattered some goji berries. Scattered around because we don't want them to just be at one spot and that one spot kena the goji berries on me lah. And then place the chicken like how it's standing like that, and then repeat the. The same thing you did with tong koi and goji berries at the bottom on the chicken up here okay scatter them around and then that's when you can wrap the chicken i do from the side which is the bottom lah bottom of the chicken first and then the two sides left and right and then the head part goes in like this okay it is important that you remember where to open your paper later because we need to position it correctly when we bake later Hey, hello, move to the center, please. Not yet center, some more, some more. Ah, okay. I'm telling you, this big bowl is your best friend now, okay? What you're gonna do is you get the aluminum foil. I use two layers, huh? So I, I just cut one and a half or two meter again. And then I just fold it over. And then I push it down according to the shape of the big bowl. I am using garam kasa, not fine salt, yeah? The rough ones. I put about one cm thick. At the bottom It's very cheap Only one this kind of salt And then I found out Oh I broke the parchment paper So I put another layer And put it back in And then that's when I place in The wrapped chicken And then pour the rest Of the salt that I have By the way This is the second time I'm using my salt uh. It has been used before To bake the first round Of my test run Salt baked chicken <laughs> So you can keep the salt and reuse it later it's very cheap and it's still clean after you use it because everything has been wrapped properly that's about 1.4 kilo like that lah four small packs make sure all the salt is covering the red chicken and then that's when you can also fold in and cover up the aluminium foil and ready to go in the preheated oven my awesome looking Keller Monots oven is already preheated at 230 degrees celsius for 30 minutes and then that's when I put in our salt wrapped chicken and then we bake it with the same degree celsius 230 degrees celsius for one hour and 30 minutes the oven knobs are in golden bronze color how pretty it is i am in love with this oven you can get it from mmx malaysia so after one and a half hours take it out from the oven and then unwrap it see how the chicken goes remember i said to remember the opening of your wrapping this is why it's important because we are going to unveil the cooked chicken and we don't want to mess up with the hot salt 
and whatever so it's more convenient this way remember to still wear your protection gloves while doing this process oh look at that shantek sekali i use a fork to poke through the chicken and check if the chicken is cooked through turn out it's only 80 percent cooked and what i do is i just pop this whole chicken back into the oven open like this for 15 minutes in the meantime i'm keeping all this salt for other use 230 celsius and 15 minutes later tada! really really shantik sekali and i'm telling you the meat is so tender it just fell off the bone just like that is super delicious the salt aroma oh and the herbs is enhancing the whole chicken flavor i'm telling you this is very very close to what we have in ipoh okay so guys try this at home especially during this chinese new year season happy chinese new year happy cooking don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me at jimmy studio in instagram